So, got some new logs brought in today. Uh, bet my brother picked them up from a little clearing job. Um, figured these be some nice things to mill. This is a piece of dead live oak tree, probably about 30 inch in diameter. And a couple big pieces of hickory. Somebody we know wants a hickory beams for our mantelpiece. So, I'm gonna cut some beams out of these pieces and probably slab this bad boy right here out. This is a piece of petrified live oak that we dug up out of the marsh. Um, it's about 34 inches in diameter on the widest area, about 24 inches in diameter on the narrowest area. It weighed about 2,700 pounds, about 12 foot long. And, um, it's hard to rock. Sawmill is a little bit slow going through it, but we made it through.
stand beside now. Huh? Stand beside one of them. <laughs> hey, you, uh... Well, I think the starters finally went out on the old Fiat Alice. It, uh, it's been getting a little weak acting for a while. And uh, unfortunately, I've been sort of thinking this time was coming and I've been kind of avoiding it and kind of avoiding it and kind of avoiding it. But I guess this bullet finally caught me and uh, I think I'll have to break down and pull the star off of it and get a new one or get a rebuild or something. I mean, I've tried changing the batteries out. I've tried jumping it off right here. It's obviously 24 volt. So, and uh, it's still not really doing anything. Barely, barely spinning the engine. And, uh, but um, it's one of those things, you know, you have big toys, you got to fix them every now and then. And it, uh, fortunately it's in a decent spot to work on. I wish it was at my shop, obviously, but you know, it's in a pretty dry area right here. It's not really in the way of anything. It's not, sitting on somebody else's piece of property and but you know so it could be a lot worse but i'll have to get up in here and get the starter out and see if i can get a new one and get it rebuilt so i got the starter pulled out and uh i'm not an expert on starters or anything but i would say this one looks like it's definitely seen some better days have a little piece of copper and stuff fall out of it and all right it just looks very nasty before i get a new one i am going to try just to Take it apart and clean it up a little bit and see what happens, but probably gonna buy a new one. You know. I don't know. It looks like they are available. It's usually hard finding parts for the Fiat Atlas, but it does look I am able to find a starter. So um hopefully we can get it back running. So forward. this may be a complete waste of time, or it may not be, but I'm really considering just putting this in my lay and cleaning up this area that these brushes ride on a little bit and see if I can clean up some of these brushes, which at least three out of the four look in okay shape and see if uh, that might do anything, put it back together before I get into it. Yeah, being as I don't really have anything to lose, I'd really like to have this thing back running by the weekend. And um, the nearest starter I could find for it was like two weeks out and it's like 400 and something dollars. I'm going to give this a try, just clean it up and see if I can uh, at least get it back running until my new starter comes in. Well, it looks like it's cleaning it up okay. Well, like I said, don't have anything to lose. What's the worst I could do? Mess it up? Well, this thing still doesn't look brand new, but I say it looks a lot better than what it did. And without going in too deep to get every little thing out, I think it's about as good as it's going to get. I, uh, I'm going to clean these brushes up a little bit now, see if I can get them free to here. This is the only one I'm having a little bit of concern about, but we'll see what we can do about that and get it put back together because uh, I'm sure it would be nice to get it so, right. So, after way too much time, trying to fit this into the center of all these little brushes. I uh, come up with an idea. Um, I tried to zip tie them back and I'm gonna try to slide this in here now. And then hopefully once I get it in there, at least past the first set of brushes, so I can cut the zip ties and they will all go back to the center shaft. I wasn't able to find, uh, these are the old brushes. I wasn't able to find exactly brand new ones just like it, but I found some similar that I think they're going to work well, good enough. The copper on them is a little bit long, but hopefully it won't get in the way of too much in there. So I'm going to try to slide this together and see what happens. Well, finally got the uh, shaft slid inside there, and uh, honestly it doesn't look too bad considering what it did look like. I mean, it slides on there pretty decent now. All the brushes are making pretty good contact some good clean copper so i'm gonna try to slide it back in the casing and see what happens so i think we may be on to be on to something here seems 
just be working. I'm gonna put her back on the track over tomorrow and wish me luck. Starter put back on and put back together. Uh, batteries put back in here. Let's see if I wasted my time or not.